Hello people of the internet. Well, it's um, quite a calm, warm day today. Um, a job I've been wanting to do now for quite a while, actually, a few weeks, um, is behind me. Um, the BMW. Needs an oil change, so I'm going to get that done today. Did plan to do it before now, but um, you know, we've had a, a bit of a strange time lately. The, the, the wife, bless her heart, um, had a heart attack and um, ended up in uh, Patworth Hospital. So... That's kind of took our time lately. She's on the mend, she's doing well, um, but yeah, it's kind of, she's top priority at the moment, so the cars kind of get left. It did get a wash a couple of days ago, because going up and down the uh, A14 and M11 got rather filthy. But anyway, let's waffle. Um, let's get the oil change done. Quite a simple one, done it before on the, the old 435D that uh, unfortunately got stolen. But um, yeah, I'll just take you through it quickly. It's, uh, it's quite an easy job, so. Don't be scared to do it yourself. So, I've got myself a bit of access. I've got it jacked up. Let's take you underneath and I'll show you. Ooh, what's what? <laughs> right, there's the underneath of your car. Right, that one there, do not drain it. <laughs> it's the first one you come to and you would think, hmm, maybe that's the drain plug. No, no, that's the transfer box. So, go further back and that one there. It's a 17 mil. That's where you drain your oil from. So quite easy to get to. Not too much of a problem at all. So, um, right, I need two hands for this. So let me get the 17 mil, crack it open, and then drain it into my lovely oil container. And there you go. We're draining. Um, obviously up top, I took the cover off because I need to get to the oil filter and took the cap off as well. Uh, to fill the oil um, to give it a little bit more flow there you go leave that for 10-15 minutes to drain out and then um, bung back in and then the oil in quite simple really and the flavour this time is some Petronas if it's good enough for F1 good enough for me and AMG use it look Formula 1 F1 because yeah that's exactly what they use um, fully synthetic blah 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 Usual sort of stuff, but on uh, opioids at the moment, very good price. So, it'll do for me. Right, and the next step is the oil filter, just there. Um, I think it's a 22 off the top of my head, but I'll check and let you know. Right, well, there was nowhere near with a 22, it's actually a 27. There you go, so I've got a long reach socket, 27 millimetre. Let's crack it open, get that old filter out. There you go, a male filter going on. I like these, good stuff. Pretty much OEM stuff. Um, in the packet as well, whoop, let me get the filter out. Should have, hold on. Yeah, not easy with one hand. You will have a gasket that um, when you take off that cover, the gasket goes around there, show you that in a minute. And a copper washer for the sump plug. Perfect. All right, plenty of rags to catch the oil. Let's get it off. there you go we're out right remember that peg on the bottom that's really important okay so remember the bag with a seal in it oh somebody's not happy right that's where that goes on there you don't have to change them every time but if you've got it you might as well um just a bit on the safe side really there you go, and the new one's on. Put yourself a little bit of oil around there, just so it doesn't bind and trap and cut it when you're installing it. Right, now, the filter. So there's two chains of thought for doing this. You can put it in the cap first um, and then put it in, but what I like to do is to do it properly, <laughs> in my mind. Um, so that peg, if you look down there, hopefully you can see it, there is a hole where that peg goes in. Now, if you don't get that peg in properly, you're going to get no oil pressure and you're going to get all sorts of things going on. Not good things either. So, the way I do it is make sure that's fully inserted, peg in the hole, and then simply put the cap on. Now, the cap may be a bit of a struggle, but if you keep sort of giving it a little bit like that, it will click. And you will hear it click because it's a, quite an obvious click. Um, be careful with this as well, don't cross-thread it. 
which is what I'm in danger of doing right now because I'm trying to hold a camera in one hand because that's really silly. There we go. So, right, I'm gonna pay a bit of attention, get that on properly. When you've got it in, the torque setting is 25 Newton meters. There we go, we're fully in and <laughs> Right, so I'll sit the uh, sump plug back in. Uh, you don't need to see that because it's just a reverse of taking it off. And then we fill it up with my favourite funnel, the best funnels in the world. What I am going to do first though is give that a clean up because I don't like the look of all that stuff around there. There we go, bit of spray, nice cloth, job done. Oh, this old beast detects close to 7 litres, so I've got 5 on the floor and 2 here. The two are going in first. And yes, the best funnels in the world. Half a placky bottle. Drink up, little beamer. Drink up. Did remember to put the sun plug in, didn't I? Yeah, are you kidding? Now. I've only put two litres in so far, but let me tell you a little trick on BMWs. Now, some people will tell you they haven't got a dipstick. Well, they have. Look at this. That is an engine dipstick. So, I'm gonna stick another, probably four litres in, maybe even three, and then check it. How's that, eh? Here's a little soldier. <laughs> Up and about, who should be resting. I've been resting. That's good. Yeah. Are you changing the oil for me then? No, I don't think I'm up to that yet. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's another three in. So, um, I'm going to pull the dipstick now, have a look. Uh, give it a clean, clean it off, clean it off. Yeah, you guessed it. Two hands. That's dipped it, and as you can see, it's just touching the bottom. So, yeah, I need another litre at least, I think. Right, dipped again, and it looks like we're just touching the, before the maximum. Um, obviously, now going to start it up, and that will then circulate the oil, and that means it will go down a bit. And then check it again. And there you go, the lovely sound, the straight six diesel. Taka, 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 taka. <laughs> Right, we're looking good around there, don't see any leaks there. Have a quick check underneath. And then just let it run for a minute or two, get that oil circulating around. And then we'll let it uh, sit for a couple of minutes. And then check the oil again. Okay, it's that for five minutes, we'll have a quick tidy up. Let's pull it out, let's see where we are. I need to re-dip it. Hold on a sec. Right, so there you go. So it's gone from the maximum to the minimum. So put another put the half a litre in and uh, that should do it. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but yeah, just slightly under the max. And there you go, another quick splash and it's right at the maximum now. So under here, that is you about done. Um, now there is lots of electronic stuff to do. Mm, yes, BMW, so obviously it's got sensors for everything. Twin power turbo. Mm. So, now for the next bit, the electronic bit. Because, yeah, BMWs like their sensors. Right, so to do this, um, you've got to get the car nice and warm. I've just took it for a quick drive. Uh, it's got to be level, so I've just pulled it forward off the drive a bit because the drive does slope back a little bit. So... We go into vehicle information, we go into vehicle status, and we go into measure engine oil level. So as it says there, let me get you in a bit closer, measurement only possible when the vehicle is on level ground, the engine's warm, put in park, and did not press accelerator. So, we start, and it's now measuring oil. As you can hear the engine revs, go up a little bit. So we're sitting at about 1000 at the moment and that is now going to measure the engine oil and tell me it's good because I've measured it on the dipstick already. <laughs> so 
almost there. It only takes about three or four minutes, it's not too long. And uh, we're 100%, and it says we're okay. Yeah, we're at the max. We knew that anyway, because there's a dipstick. Right, the only thing now is to get the scan tool out and reset the oil. I don't think you can do it on here, but um, form reset. Oh, no, that's the tyres. Don't want to do that. I don't think you do the oil reset on here. Service requirements. Engine oil. Yeah, it says 8,000 miles. So, yeah, let me get the tool out and we'll reset that. So, I've got my trusty iCar Soft. And I'll be honest, it's the first time I've done it on this one. Can't remember doing it on the other one. I know it did, but uh, whatever. Right, your port is down there. So, let me get plugged in. Right, so, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand, innit? So we need to go to service and then start there, I think. So, in service is oil reset. I'm assuming that's where I want to be. The first one on the list is BMW, so let's go into that. Loading. Alright, full series, hold on. Right, so we're in there, software reset. Or oh, you can do it manually and it takes you through the procedure to do it manually, but hey. Let's do a software reset. So, gives you lots of options when you're in there. And obviously, we want engine oil. So, do you want to reset the function? Well, yes I do. That's why I'm here. Communicating. Please wait. There we go. So, we are good. We are reset. So, if we go into the dash now. Let's have a look what it says. Vehicle information, vehicle status, um, which one is it? Service requirements. Oh, says it wants a vehicle check. Yeah, we can do that. It's got service history, so engine oil. Now it's at 18,000 miles. Right, so we can do this in iCar Soft as well. Get that vehicle check done. Do you want to reset it? Yes, I do. So it says the vehicle check is linked to the engine oil. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, first carry out CBS. Engine reset. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. Right, reset it. Yes, we do. Communicating. Please wait. Hey, and we're done. Look at that. Clear screen. So, iCarSoft wins the day again. We reset the engine oil. So if we go to that now. There you go, 18,000 miles on that. Uh, front brakes not touched yet. They've still got 19,000 miles on them. That's good. Uh, vehicle check will be done in 37,000 miles. Rear brakes in 20,000 miles. So everything is tickety-boo. No faults. Perfect. So yeah, my work here is done. One last job to do. The most important one. And yes, the most important bit. Disposing of your waste oil. Now, when you've got it in a container like this, you can take it straight down to your recycling centre, um, which is what I'm going to do. But I'm going to transfer it to one of these, just because um, we'll probably do another oil change between now and the time we go down there. But um, yeah, just go down to your local recycling centre. They'll have um, big metal containers there, and you just stick it in there and forget about it. But it does help the environment, because it gets reused then. Lovely jubbly. Yep, all ready for the next one. Well, as the old comedians used to say, there's a small onion. That's your lot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so that's it, it's all done. Um, not a particularly difficult job. Um, resetting the computer. Had to figure it out but we got there um, but dropping the oil the mechanical stuff very very easy so don't shy away from doing it yourself save yourself a lot of money right i best get back to looking after the patient and uh, thanks for joining me catch you soon internet bye bye